air travel, the ever-evolving identity of a people. Origins. Our origins propel us into our futures. When we take off into the skies, what do we take with us? Who do we become when we travel? Giant metallic beasts. Silver animals holding a million dreams. Flying out of our dreams from the depths of memory. How many worlds are contained in an embrace? How many lives intersect at this meeting place? Where do memories live? Are they in the past? Excavation, exploration, embrace. Dreaming of flight. How many people's hopes are contained in one moment? One person, one plane, one gift. We also feel honored because we are the last one to, to close, close the, the terminal. terminal. Do you know when history is happening? I think it's fantastic. It's very exciting. I didn't even know what was happening. I thought, for some time I thought I was lost. I thought I was not even in South Africa. I thought I was in a strange country. <laughs> A nation excited, a nation united, a country reimagined. O. R. Tambo, a man who spent his life in the world's airports, lawyer, firebrand, renegade, Stoic genius in an era of congruent movements, crisscrossing fire lines, forging meaning. The name for the birth canal we must pass through to this place of freedom's hard won. Explosion. Growth, expansion, how many lives, how many people? What do we take with us into the sky? What do we bring back with us to the ground? How many hands does it take to make magic happen? How many lives intersect 
on the ground, in the air. For so long we were just our scars. Things we cannot imagine today become ordinary tomorrow. Rebuilding a people by building a meeting place. As we tended to the tender heart of transition, the world could only see our scars. Until a 90-minute game changed our face, rewriting history's memoirs. Their bodies sailed from Cape Colony to Europe's freak show stages, broken, ogled, and dissected, on the margins of humanity's filthiest pages. Their pickled, canned remains, weeping, silent, and shelved, amplified the outcry for their return, a piece of us flown back to ourselves. In the name of the Lord, our force, may your soul rest in peace. Long love, the Khoisan. Long love, Africa. It's always nice to come back to uh, our Tambo. You know, the service is always amazing and, and uh, I heard the reception outside is going to be unbelievable so we're just excited to get going. The flight of the body, the flight of a star, the flight of a tail on the end of a dream. The gleam in the eye from parent to child. The ordinary and extraordinary collide in an immortal dance, inscribed on intimate embraces, passport pages, and the randomness of human circumstance. How high is high? For silvered beasts craving the caress of the blanket sky. As the earth glues all to its floor, how is gravity's force defied? By metallic birds 
gliding through corridors of clouds. Icarus's tortured, flaming fate contorted by reality now. Thousands have ascended the steps of heaven, bending time backwards, bathed in blue. Though we may never touch the sun, our beings have soared, our stories flew. In the air, we all become children, floating, flying, innocent. Guarding the future, protecting the legacies we can't see yet. At the center of freedom, there must be love. There must be joy. <laughs>